The key to the whole revolution in surfing has been the surfboard and surfers who can take the boards to new areas on the wave. A rider like Jock Sutherland can stuff a board into radical wave positions and find out what works. Surfboard design is a whole trip in itself and Jock is totally involved. Wow, the major, probably the, the major uh, uh, artistically expanding aspect of that um, the whole surfboard was the four ounce glass which kept it about nine pounds, if not less. It had a really steep V on it so it could exercise a maximum amount of roll and be, you know, really, really free. There are different levels of involvement in the surfboard business. It's a handcrafted item, and most of the craftsmen are surfers, like shaper Harold Iggy. I work about six, seven months pretty hard, and about six, seven months I get to surf out of the year, a whole lot. And the boss, Dewey Weber. I started surfing when I was eight years old, and uh, here I am. Dale Velzi, the hawk, tells how he ran his surf shop in the old days. Very loose. A dollar was a dollar and a wave was a wave. Enjoyed myself. But I'm working on a board right now that can handle four or five different waves under different conditions, hollow, mushy, whatever. There's no such thing as a perfect board, everybody, any, any manufacturer that's, that's, that advertises that has got to be sick. I mean, there's just no such thing. You know? I told you to be a thing, didn't you, Bill? <laughs> that's fun, the minute I take a picture of a board and say, this is our answer for the summer, it's ridiculous because they're already changing it. We can't be personal on every board, you know? A guy can't put soul on every board. It's ridiculous. we got to make money. You know, as heavy as like Hamilton is, what he rides, there's still... Uh, just can't know everybody's gonna jump on it right away. You know, you have to be programmed and groomed and uh, led into it easy. Man, they gotta watch him ride it. I gotta rap to him. Randy has to rap to him. And uh, it's a, a combined effort if you're gonna push things. It's like almost now what it's come to is, is a Madison Avenue uh, advertising program. Just for instance, this is Mr. Pipe. Now, we've coined that name for him now because uh, for advertising purposes also because he lives right there you know either side of it left's right uh, rocky point billy's got the juice right and in his backyard. backyard is literally it i go out every morning and watch that place <clears throat> there's some mornings when that outside reef is coming down 20 feet and reforming inside 15 feet and then when that thing hits that reef you know well if you can imagine a wave that is so round that you could fit a truck inside it and it still wouldn't get wet. You got a hell of a wave. There are a lot of approaches to surfing pipeline, but Jock Sutherland seems to have the most realistic. 
you know potentially you can get killed, get your head split open on the bottom, get a rail on the mouth. I mean, if you've got a situation under control, you'd say, well, wow, these guys are going to crunch me, you know, but I can dig it. I'd rather go and get way back in the tubes and poke them than you can have a good time in a dangerous situation.